let's just get started, yeah? Go on then. Yeah? <laughs> so we've got Peter Bins. That's me. AKA Memphis P. Yeah. Daddy Cool. I've got quite a few names, haven't I? Quite a few, but what say them now? Schizophrenic I am. <laughs> <laughs> right. So basically, I just want to know about your childhood experiences, what you got up to, when you had trouble you got into, which yeah. I'm guessing you got into quite a bit of trouble. Nah, I'm a fucking model child. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll start off with, we'll first off start off with like, what were your memories of you, mum and dad, growing up as a kid? Like all, all good, all good memories. All good. I mean, uh, obviously I'm 58 now, um, so we're talking going back obviously for quite a few years. Um, we all lived in Belle Isle, in Leeds. Big family of nine, but not not all of us lived at home at, all at the same time because obviously some are, are, I'm the youngest. Mm. So a lot of my sisters and brothers are all older than me, so their experiences of growing up will be different to mine, <coughs> with me being the youngest. But trying to remember going back to my earliest memories as a kid, I don't know, maybe seven, eight year old, that type of age. Do you remember home life? Oh what yeah, like hectic. Yeah. Mad. But I was, uh, I think at the time when I was a kid at home, there was our Sheila, and our George, we were the last ones at home. I don't remember any other ones being at home, because they must have all left prior to that, obviously, as they had been growing up and moved. Uh, but I always remember being out on streets, well, I don't mean out on streets, but out on fields at front of the house. Playing, Did you used to play footy or all? Playing or? football or kicking the ball about or um, Did playing, you used to play Kirby? playing tag. Did you used to play Kirby? Kirby, what's that? Don't you know what that is? No. Oh my god. I've heard of Kirby. That's an old, old game, that. What, what, what it? You have, on a road, obviously, when you'll be on the other, other, one side at Kirby, you'll be on the other side, get a football, you'll throw it, try and get this so it's the edge of the curb, so it bounces back. No, we didn't have a football. No. <laughs> <laughs> Can't football. do that with a can, can you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we used to play. Uh, I mean, we used to play like pitch and toss with t with coins near the wall. Yeah, we'd see who could get nearest to the wall yeah. and got nearest after so won, won it. Well, I remember playing that when I was that one, eh? early in I school. Remember, that. remember we used to do it at school. We weren't allowed to do it at school. We used yeah. to get caught. We used to get in trouble for it. Was it a form of gambling? Well, that's what they classed it as, yeah. wasn't it? But uh, but growing up as a kid, I just remember always always playing outside house, doing stuff. Or obviously, we just play, used to play tag. In, in on the field or the play in house it'd be hide and seek. Did you play them all with your brothers and sisters or No. No, we just, just we the kids were in the street yeah. at the same time. You don't see much uh, of that these days, do you? It's, no. You don't. It's all kinda of gone and Well you do see so you do see kids you see kids are playing out in the street, aren't they? But they don't seem to be playing There's not like even when I was younger in say late eighties, early nineties were 15, 20 of us, yeah. you know, in the street messing about. Yeah. But it's a shame we don't see it these days, but this is why I want to kind of. Well, it's like, I mean, we used to, obviously, like, we'd be playing out in the street and playing maybe tag or, or racing each other. So and then all of a sudden you date Rag and Bone Man. It used to be Rag and Bone Man used to come down with horse and cart and he used to have <clears> a, used to pull a, a little roundabout on back. Like, if you, you know, you go and throw some wow. rags or some stuff, and it, you could go up round about the back of it wow. and go around and you know, it like bloody, it was fantastic. Ever, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you did that now, kids would just look and go, What the? Well, you know yeah, I, mean? I think Rag and Bone Man, they still comes round though. But obviously, I don't think, oh, yeah, but now, I now, don't think they're uh, now, now they come round in Mercedes trucks <laughs> 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 uh, and they wear you know, gold rings and they, they don't live in caravans anymore, they live in big mansions. Mm. That's why they rang them, you know. Old, they make a lot more money than what scrap, they used to do, I bet. Scrap metal merchants. Yeah. Well, like now you've got now you've got scrap metal merchants, but when it were when we were kids, it was like, it was just rag and bone stuff. It wasn't. I think coming out for scrap metal and be weighing it in. Mm. It'd be old clothes or old shoes or old toys or. Now you just it's different, and it's yeah. it's a very different very different era, which yeah. I think I'd have preferred to grow up. In your kind of era, uh, and then the eighties, uh, like, really early nineties. Yeah. But I don't think 
I'm so glad I'm not growing up in these in these times. Well, well I mean, like the, the, now they've, they've all got they're all on laptops, aren't they? They're on the mobile phones and they're all yeah, just kids are up in bedrooms upstairs, mum and dad's out downstairs, <coughs> whatever. But it's whereas when we were little, we were out in the street playing while mum were in the house cleaning up or whatever she was doing or preparing food yeah. and we'd get shouted in for us dinners or us tea. And we'd all sit at the table together, you know. Um, and then we'd you know, you'd be, you know, Sunday night, Sunday night were bath times ready for uh, school next morning first bath a week <laughs> <laughs> they get bathed every day no. it's Sunday night you got usually Sunday night bath ready for school next you morning. don't need a bath every day though, do you? and we shared water gosh so wow whoever got it last and I we usually won it last <laughs> <laughs> I stink just as much when I got out <laughs> wow you know what I mean wow I, I see I think that's the uh, it was great being youngest because I used to get most attention from uh, mum and dad or for, for things. So you got away with a lot? I got away with a lot, but uh, when it came to bath times, I wouldn't have got in mucky water after everybody else. Who were the so obviously, were sister that kind of looked after you at most? Our, or? Yeah, Sheila and, our, our Sheila and our Susan, <coughs> they were at home when I was a kid. Our George and our Dennis had more or less left. But I do remember bits of me. I remember bits of our Den. I didn't when I was out, or he was at work, or out on his motorbike. Mm. I always remember being sometimes in the back garden with our den. Um, but not a right lot, really, because they were, they were older than me. I was a, little, I was a kid, a runt. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you say you, you played games, but other games, did you like really, really love to play, or mates you really loved just, to, just, you had more of a... Just running them up, really. We weren't, it wasn't no set games, or... You know, just and being out and about and finding out and about stuff and to do. Even going, you know, going off into the woods. Yeah. Used to go up, up into the woods, climbing trees. Yeah. And bending off at the end of branches. <laughs> just daft stuff like that. Making swings. Yeah. And then, and then I always remember even even bunking off school where we we walk off down the street and like say, I could remember my mum bit gate watching us going out. We'd go so far down the street and so she's gone into the garden. We'd show off right back at shops and we'd be off. <laughs> and I always remember once in winter time when uh, me and this other lad, Stuart McIver. That's what I, that's what it, God, I'm surprised I remember I know, his name. You, just, you were just saying before we came on. Stuart McIver, a lad who lived about ten doors down the street. And the amount of trouble that me and him used to get in there. I mean, we used to, instead of you know, bunking off and not going to school, middle, I remember once in the middle of winter and it would be really bad snow and ice and cold. Mm. And we shot off up to Miggy Woods. You know, we were in woods most of the day, making snowmen or rolling around in snow. And then went on ice and then he went in well, the eye. He cracked, the ice cracked. And he went in it. Wow. And we'd struggle to get him out and he fetched him up <laughs> frozen <and> stiff. <laughs> we tried to explain that one. But anyway, that, that got us into trouble. Gosh. Uh, I, bet, I bet that pond's never been frozen up. Okay. Probably would have been. Probably would have been. You don't have winters like you used to do. Yeah, but we used to go, like I say, we used to go off into the woods and go and climbing trees and stuff. Like I say, middle of winter we'd go, go ice skating. Yeah. You know. And I always remember once... Um, Obviously, where we lived in Wimbledon Road, there were shops at the bottom, but behind the shops were all open fields. <coughs> I do remember that this one day, um, sh going off to school, said, oh, bye, see, see you, mum, see you later. Anyway, well, as soon as mum were out of sight, we got down the bottom of the street, back with it, straight right back at shops and off, not go to school, playing fields all day long, rolling down hills or yeah. pissing about. Then comes It's not like, really doing all, but just having a you know, It's come about at three o'clock, when hour half past three, I think, one of them days, I can't think now. When, School had finished and we'd walk back home and I'd be, I remember this one day I'm walking up the street and my mum's, mum's at the gate, I think, she's not usually at the gate waiting for me. And I got, as I got further, I got close to it, she'd have you, have a good day at school? Yeah, you can sound. Bang! <laughs> You've not been, you've had teachers on. <gasps> you've not been all day, where have you been? Oh, oh, went feels it back. <laughs> that was it, that. Bed. Did you ever do it again? <laughs> no. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Bed. <laughs> You know what I mean? There were days away. So it's fault with that. We all saw you, mates. Both of us. Both. both. But I say that. I mean, then, chat. Like I say, them childhood. That were only about maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Then that might have been between eight year old, maybe and ten. So kind of your primary, late primary school yeah, time. Is yeah. That the only times you're looking back, remember. That's like, what I can remember at the minute with that. Yeah. Then obviously as. Um, so I got to teenage years and stuff, it was like, just sat in the back garden, chilling out and I was digging garden over from mum and dad, or doing all sorts yeah. and I oh, used to, because where we used to live, the old school used to have a, it was the only 
school in Leeds that had an outdoor swimming pool. What school is that? Bell Isle. Right. Bell Isle Middle School. Yeah. The only school in Leeds, well, the only school in Leeds that had a swimming pool. And it had an outdoor swimming pool. And uh, we, we went to that school. And our, our back garden obviously looked over where the swimming pool was. So obviously yeah, we sometimes go well, we go one. jumping over our fence, yeah. over school gates and go j jumping in, in, wow. in there, messing about in there. Well, that was brilliant. Stuff. Brilliant. <clears throat> Until a uh, security guard came and we'd all just shoot off yeah. and try and get back out. That were obviously summertime then. Oh yeah, summertime, yeah. Brilliant. But, I mean that was great, well that was a, a swimming pool at school. Wow. Unheard of. So did you have any run ins with the police? Nah. <laughs> no, are you sure? Well, well, yeah. Go well, on, so I, think I, I think I was black sheep at family, to be honest. It was, it was just the usual things when we were kids with the uh, it was toys. It was toys, really. Me and that Stuart McCarr would go to town, but pinching, flipping toys out at shops Gosh. and trying to get away with it and stuff. And uh, I always remember once we'd been in town and uh, we'd, <laughs> we'd bags full of stuff. It's just just pencils or yeah, rulers. rulers or some odd toys and just things like that and just it was like a dare to yeah. go to the shop and get it away with it. I remember we were in Leeds this Saturday afternoon once a year when we were kids, I don't know, 12 year old maybe, I don't know. And uh, we, we, <laughs> we got quite a few bits when I said, oh, that's it, let's leave it, let's not bother anymore, let's, let's leave that. And he just said, oh, come on, just get one more thing from this other shop. W.H. Smith, I think it was. God. He said, no, I said, no, leave it. So we've got bloody loads of stuff. He says, it was some toys that we, we, anyway, we went to try and get these toys. And then obviously we got caught, didn't we? So that was it then. When the police came and took us up into flipping, up into store, into offices upstairs. And the police were there and then they said, oh, we're going to have to get your mum and dad here. Oh, were you just absolutely dreading? Were you just like, well, with my mum, and my mum turned up, what's been going on, what's happening in this? Oh, they had all stuff laid out that we'd pinched, all the toys and pencils and <laughs> it. Anyway, got it, you know, usual, so as you get home, that would it, crack, bed, banned to go from going out for a week. So did you used mm. to meet up with any other friends in town or meet your, your girlfriends or people you liked and... What, 12? <laughs> You school by crushes? Do you have any of them? Not at twelve, I don't think. No? I can't think. No. <laughs> no, I don't know. I can remember, I can remember my first girlfriend called Julie Chester. <laughs> Alright. I remember her when I, was at, when I was maybe 12, 13. From your primary school? Yeah, well, look, middle school. Oh, yeah, don't forget, it used to be different, didn't it? In our, when we were kids, it were, used to go to, uh, used to go to um, infants. Infant yeah. school, which were like from for your first school when you started about five, six year old, mm. through to about maybe ten or eleven, eleven I think, and then you go to middle school, yeah, and then to high school. I can't, I can't remember. You can't remember dates. How long did you go to middle school for then? Well, just like for about two, two or three years. Two or three years. Yeah. So you, might, that, isn't it? so you might have gone to. <coughs> you, know, you, you went to three different schools as a kid. Mm. Infants. Middle school and high school. So I was supposed to go to high school at about maybe what, 13 then? 14, 15, yeah, for the last, last three years at school. So you went to school late then? You went to high school late then back then, didn't you? Oh, yeah. You yeah. Going to high school now. Well, but you, and you only went, you went to wherever you got sent. There were none of this, choice. none of this bloody picking schools out and where you want to be and all that. Like them days, it was, you go to that one, you go to that one, you go to that one, that's yeah. it. No question about it. Gosh. And that, it I think it was a lot easier and better. Did you make more friends, didn't it? I guess instead of yeah. just following where your where your friends went. Yeah. But as as regards like, I can't remember bits from my uh, school. I can, I can I can I can actually remember being at infant school and swearing and getting soap shoved in his mouth from wow. teachers. That's what that you should do. These days, you should know, never get it done for assault, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that with soap being shoved in your mouth for swearing. Wow. I remember that when I was infant. And then my middle school, I can remember, most things I remember about middle school, <laughs> it's funny, I, I can't remember any lessons or all like that, yeah. or what I did academically or whatever, or good, I can't think, but I always remember the headmaster, I'm trying to think, 
can't think of his name now. But he used to have a boxing ring set up in school hall, right? Any kids start I can fighting, see where this is going, any kids yeah. start fighting <laughs> at the playground, that was it. He'd have you in, in boxing ring. But you could join boxing club as well. So really, that got me introduced to being in, to doing boxing when I was at school. And then we went to um, I think I don't know if it was St Joseph's at Berman Tofts. Oh no, St Patrick's it was St Patrick's Boxing Club. We got introduced to going there, and that was through by our headmaster introducing boxing at school for us. Mm. And you start boxing ring into assembly room, cool. and uh, we'd, have, we'd have, you know, it, 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 at first it started off with because if you'd been in trouble or you were fighting the playground, you used to get your boxing ring. But right. then that encouraged you then to start learning to do boxing. Yeah. So and then from that to to go into, you know, to boxing club as well. So did you do any other sports in school? Do you have a school team or like? I would always crap like that. I would always crap at sports. I would crap at football. Crap at cricket. <laughs> People throw cricket ball, but I just <laughs> dirt my hands. <laughs> athletics were all right for doing all running and uh, I was good at that. Athletics and long jump and that yeah. and javelin. I was good at all that and discus. Do you remember actually doing them all? I remember doing all them. <clears> yeah, in, in school. Uh, any funny incidents with any? No. With getting it with all or? No, I can't think. I guess back in those days it would have been more structured and kids would have probably been a bit more be well behaved or... No, oh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> We're probably more unruly to be honest. Really? <laughs> yeah. But for, yeah, and, and the other thing that always got me from middle school was the fact that because that particular school had that swimming pool outside, we learnt to do canoeing in the, sw in the swimming pool yeah. with a teacher and then they used to take us off into on the weekends away. Um, I remember we, we once went for a week away, which mum and dad paid for it, and you know, we still couldn't afford that mm. much at that time. The school took us all off away, up into Dales, and we'd stay there for a week, and within that week we went, we did a lot of walking, in, in rains, uh, in Max and stuff, we went pot hauling. I remember going pot hauling down, down things with hat on, with light on top, yeah. and all waterproofs, and going up water and all sorts of in caves. Yeah. I remember doing that, that was, I, I think I only went for, one week, I remember, it's just stuck in my mind for all these years, as that. Wow. And the, and the fact that we went canoeing down, down rivers, open rapids and stuff, and on, down weirs in... in, in, in so I bet you've never boats. thought about all this until talking about it. No, mind, just, yeah. uh, just now. Because you, you were saying before, you, you didn't really remember anything. No. It's like, oh, well, this is going to be fun. Just now, but, when, you, when you start thinking about it. Yeah. But they were the happy times, or the good times, I remember, at middle school. High school... <laughs> Do you know, nothing, nothing stuck out to me for high school. Did you have any? Did you have any bad times in primary and middle school? Like times when you struggled with out or no, running no. with people, bullying no. or. But I remember I, I did get I did get bullied at middle school by I supposed to be a mate, Charlie Thackeray. Supposed to be my mate, but yet. So if he's watching. He, he would always. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. I think I've told him since I've, <laughs> I've seen him on Facebook year, a couple of years ago, and he was. He used to fancy this last Julie Chester. Well, obviously, I wanted to go out as well, but obviously, if ever you saw me talking to her, he ate me. <laughs> or he'd bash me, you know what I mean? And he was supposed to be my mate, yeah. that guy. Anyway, that was that. It, it wasn't really bullying me, it was just, you know, he was always having a go. So, where? So. Yeah, I mean, one one of the things I remember about being at uh, middle school, believe it or not, is uh, actually with July 1969, all being in classroom, watching the tiny black and white telly, watching moon landings. You know, yeah. Apollo, Apollo th 13. No, it was before that, wasn't it? I think it was Apollo 11. 11. With moon landings, we watched that live when we were kids. What did you think? I thought it was shit, I couldn't see it, it a blurry screen, I thought, what is it we're watching? <laughs> we didn't really got explained, but I, I do remember it, but that's about it. And obviously you wouldn't have had any thoughts about it not being no, real or... No, no, he just watched it. Have you it. seen anything recently about it? No. What do you mean? Moon landings? Yeah. Oh, don't start on all that. <laughs> you, you, you should have a look at it now. All right. And you'll be like, fucking hell. Yeah. It's just... It's crap, it's like watching the, Thunderbirds. The, the, <laughs> it's like watching Thunderbirds. Honestly, Thunderbirds, I go! You watch it all. 
and think back to how you were like, oh my god, yeah. like you'd have been like starstruck. Yeah. But look back now. Yeah. Well, like watching watch the birds. It'll be. A bit of seat piece of string on to yeah. on astronauts. Pretty much you can, yeah. So yeah, I think uh, I think I've covered. I think I've covered just about everything I can think of in my childhood memories and stuff. And then obviously things go from teenage years or from being at school to then leaving school and your first jobs and that type of thing. Mm. Um, I mean, obviously my uh, my first job. I mean, I, I had I had, had part time jobs when I was still at school. I had paper round, just like everybody else did. Mm. Um, I had milk round with me, uh, br uh, then brother-in-law, uh, Frank. Um, <laughs> we used to get into, we got into a couple of scrapes in that, believe it or not. <laughs> but obviously I used to do I used to do my paper round. You need to elaborate on the scrapes. Right, we used to do my paper round on night time, on my chopper bike, with my paper bag on, <laughs> on bag, we could do not papers. And then I used to get extra money if I went round and collected the money on the Friday, yeah. on the Friday night, I used to get extra money for doing that. But I used to work with our Frank, getting up at five o'clock in the morning and got to do milk round. And he, uh, and then it were, it were them, it were a cart where they stood in front of it and pulled it along, electric cart, you know, yeah. with a, like a, you know. I don't That's know, a cat. probably what you've been. People, what you what you remember them? Seen one. Just, just like a milk, a, a trolley, electric one. And it used to have a, like a pull down handle, and as soon as you pull down the handle, then it'd set off, oh, and right. you'd walk it, you'd walk in front of I it. I think Postman have them now. Steer though, it. Yeah. I, I, this I, one I think big. The, yeah, I think Postman have them now though. That they yeah, just have for the for the, tiny ones, yeah. for the for the bags of milk. But this yeah. were filled filled with uh, bottles and bottles of bloody milk. And I remember once, when one day I won't work in, we saw our Frank's uh, milk car <laughs> on the hill <laughs> in in estate. So me and my mate jumped on it. Used to be if you, if you used to sit on back of it and you could pull and like, like that and ride it down fucking hill. So there's no keys or anything for no, this thing. No, and we rode it down hill and we went out of control. It curved, went over, <laughs> smashed all the milk bottles and everything. We ran off. Um, and we ne he didn't he never, he never knew what this day that it was. So you're confessing now. <laughs> I'm confessing now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so sorry Frank, but it were me and uh, I can't remember what else. I'm sure it was Andy. So your son, you were old son. That's Nicked your milk cart and broke it and you just, smashed it up. You just dobbed him in. <laughs> just dobbed. Yeah. So I remember that. Right, we'll go on to um, what do you remember about me, our Sarah, and our Paul? I mean, we just we've just skipped it. We just skipped from me leaving school to that. But we still might. We can go into that part. Yeah, but I'm gonna do more segments on that. Oh yeah. I want to talk about when. Well, yeah. we'll talk about when Elvis when you first started like. No, we'll cover that, bit, we'll cover that bit with you a lot first. Alright, go on. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, obviously, my earliest, I mean, obviously, uh, your mum, our Sheila, were, uh, me and our Sheila were very, very close at home, and our George, because we were the last ones. Um, so, obviously, uh, we, we all grew up as, as, well, I was youngest anyway. But I always remember our Brian, your dad, and stuff, used to be around our house and things, and uh, when they eventually was pregnant with our Sarah, I always remember our Sarah being born and holding our Sarah's little, little girl. Yeah. I've still got that photograph somewhere, which you'll need to put in this. Well, that's what I wanted it. to try and do, like, with people from school and stuff, yeah. but it's, it's not as easy to find both mm -hmm. photos, mm -hmm. I guess. I mean, I've got that photo somewhere, I know it's, I've, I've seen it on my Facebook page, I put it up a few times. So I remember that, with our Sarah being born, and I would have then uncle. Uh, uncle. <laughs> Uncle and Uncle Well, Uncle that, that came later. Yeah. I remember you were always an ace uncle when we were younger. You were uh, always daft and. Still am. It's <laughs> best way to be. But yeah, I remember. I said it. And then it worked with uh, Paul, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, Paul, and then you. <laughs> and you were one that were always in trouble. Never. You were. Never. You were. Always in trouble as kids. Running around or whatever, and I remember once being it, when I was babysitting, I was supposed to be babysitting, but I was asleep on the sofa because I had a night out night before, so I knackered. And then you kept running around the coffee table, and I kept thinking, saying, Fuck's sake, stop it off! And then you'd carry on and carry on, and the next thing, smash straight through the coffee table. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember if it were you or uh, Paul, I'm sure it were you. Yeah. I'm going, Oh my god, are you alright? You alright? 
Oh, yeah, I'm alright. Right. And then went. <laughs> <laughs> you got a clap. You got a, you got a clip for for running around and you were no there were no blood in the way, but you were okay. So he smashed our coffee table and thought. So he thought, great, I can't let to our kids. <laughs> put me off for life. <laughs> well, it didn't put you off really, did it? Yeah, Cause, no, uh, no. You've got a daughter that's just as mad as you. Yeah. But uh, like I say, as regards all, all of the nephews and when we were growing up, we were all just like, we were all like, just a lot like brothers and sisters really. Yeah. Me and Andy were my closest nephew at the time, he was closest to my age, we are only a year between us. And mm-hmm. we grew up like little brothers. Yeah. We were ones in, in woods all the time or going wherever. And by the time you you lot came along I was obviously a, I was about in me about eighteen me. Eighteen year old so I was then going out and getting drunk and chasing scanty women and things like that. Chasing the skirt. <laughs> chasing the skirt at that age. Yeah. And then you obviously met Scotty um, Ange. Well years and you well, years. How old were you when you when you met her then? Uh, about 25, 26. Are you sure you want to get this wrong or? Ish, uh, ish. Are you sure? The positive ish. <laughs> oh, about 25, 26, and you were about 22. Yeah, about four years between us. That was in 1988 in Corfu. Yeah. How long were you together until you? About three years, and then we got married. So we met all in a romance, and then we uh, married three years later. And then Brilliant. exactly nine months to that date, Kate O'Bahn. Yeah. Yes. That must have felt a bit... Oh, fantastic. Just like a whirlwind yeah, kind of... Yeah, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It's and nice then obviously then Sean was three and a half years later, when Sean was born in 1995. And, it's been, and they've had just as much... And, and obviously you were always involved with us yeah. as kids. Oh, we're always growing in my house, weren't we? You, you used to grow up with Kate and Sean, all you, you and Paul and Philip yeah. and now Sarah. You were always around at our house, always playing with Bob and Katie and Sean, you always out playing games or yeah. playing football at Bottom Street. So it was just like a, <coughs> another another cycle of well, life from kids now growing up. Well that's what I always know with our kids and my and Sarah's kids, yeah. You've got it with your kids now. I want us all to do the same, I mean, be all together like we were I mean, all I've together. Got, I mean I've got videos of you lot playing football with your yeah. dad at Bottom Street and Katie and Sean as well. Now you've got your kids haven't you? Yeah, it's brilliant isn't it? You appreciate what it's like now. Well, that's why it's and, and it, it just gets passed on, doesn't it? Just yeah. the the family part of it. All. Well, this is why I wanted to do this. It's because, like I say, when, when when Theo and Isaac get older and, and mad and all them lot. Well, well, you look at all you look now. You're all. Yeah, you know, what's that? As I say, as eldest lad. Forty. I say, as eldest. That's twenty one. Next. Oh, Kieran. Kieran's yeah, twenty one. Yeah. Where did that go? I just woman I know. just a kid just I remember skipping school to go to our Sarah's house because she used to live yeah. down the road from school yeah. and it were only a two year old or something and then so you lot have all grown up together and, and you lot have been playing football and messing around with, with, with them at that age as well haven't you yeah. do you know what I mean so it's all about this and some look at some family holidays we've all had since then all of us together still yeah we've had some good cracking holidays haven't we yeah yeah Brilliant. We need to do it again. It's hot cards, it's hot cards. If anything's taught us anything, it's this bloody coronavirus, hasn't it? Well, yeah. To appreciate yeah. what you've got now and where we are now. I mean, it's all okay to start getting it together again. We need to mm-hmm. all. We'll get one sorted out next year. Yeah. I'll get sort of for my 60th. Yeah. In 18 months. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll get your presents ready. 60 for him. in 18 months, and I've not been to Graceland yet. Uh, I've been an Elvis fan since I've been 15 years old and I've not been to Graceland yet. I know. I wanted to sort that out for you, didn't I? Uh, oh, that? yeah. yeah. That. Which is a great gesture, but yeah, I won't, yeah. I don't, I'm not. It's not you, is it? It's, it's not, not me for being. I'm not, not. It's not me for begging for charity type of thing. No, but. You know what I mean? You're not, you're, it's not begging for charity. It's oh, no, it's not. Not to that. me, it's not anyway. Yeah, it's, I if, if I could help someone else go and yeah. follow their dream or carry out their dream, it's. Yeah. I just did it, I thought. There's an Elvis song there. Follow the dream, why don't you follow the dream? I won't know. No, I am. <laughs> so, should we go on to when you first started thinking about Elvis or. Do you remember I the remember. first song you listened to? Uh, I remember our Sheila fetching home the very first Elvis album I'd ever heard or listened to in 1975, and that were Elvis's 40th Greatest Hits, which came out for Elvis's 40th birthday. In 1975, 
Um, I remember listening to that and thinking, wow, brilliant. Some early songs and some other stuff. I remember looking at photographs of early Elvis as a 19 year old truck driver going into Sun Studios. And then there were pictures of him in jumpsuits and all that. And I just think, this is like, this is like now he's at 70, so he's still alive. I said, oh, actually, still alive then. I used to be curious, you know, that was about how much he'd gone in the bed when I was <coughs> no, 15, then he, then he died. And that then got me really interested in like trying to find out not just the songs but like because i'd seen this album i used to read notes inside of it and it, like his little life story in, this, in the in the notes and then when he died and all this stuff with papers i, I thought oh, none of that half of that can't be true so that's when i got really interested in, in that side and, and trying you to found more songs more songs everything yeah, and then you just fell in love straight away or did it grow on you or I, I, it wasn't just Elvis at that time. I was into everything at that time. I went to basic rollers, shawaddy waddy, and yeah. all that type of stuff at that, at that time when I was a kid. So when did it start being like, this so, is the uh, guy that's... Maybe when I was about maybe 16, 17, and I started getting really seriously into it. What were your mates into? I didn't really have any mates who were into Elvis. Only me and our Andy who were into Elvis. Mm -hmm. And then people that were met at fan club and that type of thing. But then that got me into, um, so when I was like 16, 17 year old, then we got to about 18, 19, I wanted to be a singer. And it was your dad, who was in the band yeah. at the time with his brothers, I used to go watch them when I was 18 year old, 17, 18, and watch wow. them in band, and used to think, I want to do that. Yeah. Uh, so you've got your dad to thank for that. Well, there's not, <laughs> yeah, cheers, dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Well, that's brilliant. Like, but that got me into wanting to be in a band. And I remember I, I thought, oh, put an advert in the paper when I was about 18, 19. I had no experience of singing, I had no band, I had no gear, nothing. And I put an advert in local paper asking if anybody wants to get a rock and roll band together or whatever. <laughs> I got no replies at all until, until for weeks and weeks. And then somebody phoned us up and said, oh, you want to be you're a singer? I said, well, I just... You know, I want to try it. So where, do you, where, where have you sang before? I went, storm. What, what living room? <laughs> Got any gear? No. <laughs> Unbeknown to me at the time, they were taking piss at me. Because right. other lads, they told me this years later, that they were all laughing their fucking heads off, saying, oh God, I've got a right dickhead there. Just, just put phone, <laughs> put phone down. And one of them said, oh, give him a chance, let him come up. So a band was set up and I just went up and, and they were, they're the, they're the lead singer anyway. And, uh, to be, to be honest, I just they had me as a backing singer. So do you think if he'd have said no, would you have carried on looking? I'd have been carried on looking, yeah. Looking. That would like me break. Yeah. So then uh, they just said, oh, you can join band, come, just come as a backing singer and carry gear in and out. Which I did that for about, well, maybe six months. And then they, they sacked the singer anyway. So, and, then, uh, and, just... and then I just stepped straight into his shoes and we, they, they just took off from then. Wow. Up to still singing now 30, 40 years later. With your own now. tribute so act. It's been 40 <coughs> years I've been singing. I've done everything from rock and roll, from... Uh, what's that? I've done rock and roll from rock to pop to reggae. I've been in about five or six Motown. different bands, like, like Motown. Motown and, stuff, yeah. and then I started doing this Elvis about seven years ago. And this has been my full-time job for the last seven years. And it's been the best thing I've ever done. Yeah. Even at this later life, well, not many late people, age in life. Not many people follow the dreams and not many people, when they see, like my dad, yeah. when you saw my dad and say, I want to do that. Yeah. Not many people actually follow no. through and, yeah. so it's brilliant that you still... It's got to be a passion. It's got to be, it's got to be yeah. a passion. It's got to be like anything in life. You, if it's a hobby or whatever, it's, it's a passion. It's not in the car, is it? No, it's okay. I think <laughs> that's why you've got so many people that love you. Yeah, all right. People, I just like, I'm a person. I'm a people's person. Everyone knows you. I like to entertain doing. people. Yeah. I entertain people and have fun. That's what it's all about. That's what it's about. Lovely. So the last little bit I want to say is just like if you had any final things to say to my nana and granddad about Phew. about like <coughs> your experience growing up and what they were like and. Well, if you just have five minutes to say. I just if, if I had five, I'd just say to I'd say, look, th thank you for a fantastic childhood mm. and, what, and the way you brought us up. 
even though my mum and dad had, they're not with us now they've been gone a long while um, I still think about my mum and dad all the time believe it or not they're always, they're always in my mind yeah one of the like I said when, when we lost my mum I couldn't believe my mum died I could not believe I, yeah, I could not believe she was going I was, how old was I um, I don't know I was about, about 33 something like that maybe 33 really if, oh, I'm trying to think. <laughs> the camera trying to focus. Oh, um, I can't think of dates at the minute. Yeah, well, I was only young when my mum passed away. Mm. I, to, I couldn't believe when my mum went. And then when my dad's gone and so then my brother Dennis, got a dad, uh, his own, to think of his brother, passed. I you know, our Dennis, what life and soul of, of, of us lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and for him, he was the last person on the earth we'd ever think would be passing out of, out of any of us. Well, you don't think any of your brothers and sisters no. are gonna gonna pass, gonna die. So that's been the biggest shock in in life. It was hard enough losing my mum. That was the, that was bad. It was even worse when I lost my dad. But then when we lost his brother, it's a good job you've got so many clothes. Close family members that are. Well, it's like that thing. They are who they are as well. Because like you said, we've all. Okay, so the only really our George and our Sheila, I remember growing up at that age who we were close. All my other sisters, we are all close, mm. but they were, they, they were a different part of their lives when yeah. I were a, a kid. Do mm. you know what I mean? So when I were a kid, they were already being often married and having their own families, yeah. but my, my childhood members. Of all my brothers and sisters, but we, we, as a, we're all a big family, and we've always had some massive parties over Christmas. It was always a big get, big yeah. get-togethers at Christmas, and you lot were all little kids running yeah. riot. And we were all in, you know, it was, it, it were them days when there were, there were everybody yeah. at your mum and dad's house. So or at, at my mum and dad's house. Go back 10, 15 years, and parties I used to be with. Oh, yeah. I used to, it used to be brilliant. Yeah. I used to love it. But we get, everybody gets older. We all get older. Yeah. We still like to let us air that. We've for like, ages, have we? No, it's just fizzled out a little bit, hasn't it? But yeah. It's just, that's just life. That's the way it goes. Yep. Do you know so. what I mean? That's life. <laughs> that's what all the people see. <laughs> you fly. I don't know if you've got any last words you want to say to people supporting you and well, your Etta family and stuff. Because well, I see you've got a lot of love. They've got a lot of love for you. I mean, I like, I mean obviously, the, as we call the... The Elvis family. It's that that has been in the last seven years. I've I've got to know that many people through Elvis that I've ever got to know in my whole life. Mm -hmm. And there's some really really nice genuine people. Some really nice friendships formed from all that. But as well as that, I've got my own life. You know, me and Angie and I've I've been media family, Katie and Sean. Our little unit. You know, we're we're all very close. Mm -hmm. And obviously that en encompasses all you lot as well, all his nephews and nieces, all of my sisters and brothers and all yeah. their kids. We're just one big It's nice to just get family. people's stories out and... And, it, and like with your kids now, I like to see your, your little lads running yeah. right and everything. And Best thing to do, isn't it? You know what I mean? Best thing to be. And so I've seen... <coughs> I've gone from seeing... I've gone from seeing you lot being born and you running around as kids to now you're all grown up and you've got your kids. Yeah. And by the time you finish doing this interview, or half an half hour, some of your kids might be big enough to have their kids. <laughs> <laughs> We're finishing up now anyway, yeah. but I think if people are going to comment and stuff and if we can make another video and if people have got questions or... Oh, yeah. We'll see if we can do something else. I mean, it's safe. You can't do you can't do all this all in one session. No, I mean like I wanted to. I mean you like you. if you do some more <coughs> some sessions with some other family and then you do some of them all together. Yeah. Because then when we're all together, people start remembering things and bounce off each other. Then. That's what I mean. Like that'll give you. To, that'll give you, you some more. Obviously close to my mum. Yeah. And my good George. Yeah. That'll give you. That'll give you another perspective. Yeah. Of stuff that we used to get up to. I mean, it's it's for it's for the family. Yeah. And it's also for. For your for kids to enjoy as well, and for your kids to grow up and watch, and Cameron and Kenzie and 
Ah, here we go. Here are my odd names. names. <laughs> <laughs> I should have wrote odd names down. Should I? Could have been pressed and I've gone like that. Well, yeah. Right. <laughs> so we'll leave it there then. Yeah, so. Um, thank you very much. Good luck with it. Yeah. Is we'll this see, going up on? We'll see where it goes. Is this going up anyway today or tomorrow or what? You don't do well, it yet. I'll be uh, a few days editing probably. You'll have to edit it and make it look. Uh, like it. Can you get rid of a double chin? I can't chin? do that, you, but. Can you get rid of a double chin? I'll try Photoshop, yeah. Hope you've got a good, a good lens. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Pleasure. Oh, no, it's, it's COVID-19. It's that one. Where from? Where? Where from?